Good evening and welcome to the International Skating Center of Connecticut on this cold December night here and Simsbury and this is another night for Simsbury Trojans ice hockey where the Trojans will take on the North Haven Indians. Both teams come in with a record of 1 and 0 winning both of their openers on the road. For Simsbury, they defeated South Windsor by a score of 3-1 Wednesday night, whereas North Haven defeated Amity by a wild 7-4 score. Simsbury comes in ranked number 8th in the preseason poll from the Hartford Current, led by their sensational blue liners, Kurt Eustace and Brian Gelman. Both were named the preseason Fab 15 in the Hartford Current, the real strength of this Simsbury Trojan squad. They come in with a 16-6 record from last year, finishing in the quarterfinals in the Division I state playoffs. First time they had done that since 2008. Now, while this team boasts 10 seniors on their roster, they had lost 10 seniors from last year's squad, including their top three scores from a year ago. They also bring in three new goaltenders, including two freshmen and a first-year senior. So how will the Trojans stack up against North Haven? coming off a seven goal performance at Amity. Simsbury's starting lineup left to right will be Aaron Riccio, Sterling Brandt, and James Foster. Their blue liners, Kurt Eustace, and the aforementioned Brian Gelman. And in that will be Max Allen. For North Haven, they boast a 1-0 record led by their captains Vin Fasulo and Christopher Lyon. They'll be joined by Mike Tantoriski and their front forwards and their back line, their blue line, Philip Galvin and Kyle Van Bramer will lead their defense. And then goaltender Andrew Graziano comes in with a record of 1-0, giving up four goals against Amity in a win on their ice in Woodbridge, Connecticut, saving 28 of 32 shots. We're just a few seconds away from the action here at the ISCC, Bring it to you live here on SCTV. And we're just about ready to set for puck drop at center ice as Tanariski and Thompson swear off. They saw one over by the Trojans who will be in their home whites and blue trim. Going from left to right at center ice, it is Sconzo dropping it back off to Gaffney as he plays it back to center ice and off into the North Haven zone. It's chased over by Kyle Van Bramer, the senior who had an assist against Amity on Wednesday. Back across it goes to Cameron Owens. Tripped up, little shot in front of the net is a little bit wide and chased over by Bogart. Big hit right there by Peter Sconzo. We have a whistle and we've got a hook on Peter Sconzo. He'll go sit two minutes in the sin bin. Already just 31 seconds into the first period and Simsbury will be on the penalty kill. Sconzo, the senior, four points from last year, sits for two. So on comes the North Haven power play, Captain Christopher Lyon, waiting to get at center ice. Excuse me, in the offensive zone. He'll be facing off against James Foster, the senior and their lead returning scorer from a year ago. 11 points from last year, six goals and five assists, but here he'll be on to call for the penalty kill. A little delay here as the official trying to get this with the scorer's table. Two minutes for Sconzo for hooking. Face off, this little scrum there, one over by North Haven, taken away though by Brendan Law. Kick back out over towards Owens, back it goes into the neutral zone. Checked up over by Fasulo, off to Ludi. Little cross and a great clear by Simsbury as Brendan Law gets into the North Haven zone, chased over by Josh Back. A little poke away there from Sterling Brandt. Stops, holds, waits it pass. Off towards Nolan Thompson, gets it off to his own zone. Head over and it's cleared off over back towards the North Haven zone. 
13.40 remaining in the opening period. That's a little bit wide, chased over by Brendan Law. At a 13 plus minus rating from a year ago, that leads the team among returning skaters. That's back over to Riley Chapman, chased over to center ice. His brother Hunter trying to chase over by Bogart. And it's a little poked away there by Bogart and a little scrum there on the near side corner. And then here comes Riley Chapman to poke it away. Puts up a shot, save made by Andrew Graziano and holds for a stop and play. Thirteen oh nine to go in the opening period. We are scoreless at the ISCC, an offensive zone face-off for the Trojans as Cameron Owens will square off against Jake Arnold. One over by the Trojans. It goes poked away, taken by North Haven. Center ice. Kurt Eustace knocks it back into the zone. Let's chase over by Bogart. Taken away by Zach Levin. North Haven going from right to left in the road. Maroon jerseys slaps it off back to a Simsbury goal off the boards. Chased over by Mike Ribko. Bogart from the left point. Off and a shot is wide left by Mike Tantorski. Little deke there by Owens. Whips on the shot. Puts him another one. Kick saved away by Mike Adorno. Chased over by Ribko. On the, the Simsbury net, trickled away in front, of the, in front of the net. Shot by Bogart, blocked away by Ben Levin, and a big save there by Mike Adorno and holds for a faceoff. Mike Adorno, a 3 1 winner over South Windsor on Wednesday night. Just allowing one goal. True freshman, his first year with the Trojans. We're replacing. They're two goaltenders they lost from a season ago. Face off one by the Trojans, taken by Jack Reese. Knocked back over towards the blue line, but chased by William Rooney. In the North Haven zone, chased in by Rance Swenson. Rally Chapman. Sit over. Galvin gets it poked away by Jack Reese. Sends off back to the North Haven zone where it's poked away by Andrew Graziano. Reese sends it back over towards the North Haven net where it's chased away by teammate Ben Levin. Reese tries to send it to his teammates where it's intercepted by the North Haven zone. Back off towards center ice, chased over by Sconzo. Sophomore Pascal Luizzi takes it from center ice where it's picked off by Rooney. Sends it back to the North Haven zone, chased over by back. Sends it back, find his own net. Clears it back towards the Simsbury zone. Chased over by Fasulo. Holds, waits, gets it poked away by Law. Sends it out to Foster from left to right. Three on two if they hurry. Said it's poked away at the last second by Josh Back. Trickles around the boards. Looks like a loose glove there on, on the ice. Cleared back off towards center ice. Crossing it goes. Ludi just knocks it back towards the net. Chased over by Fasulo. Puts him a crossing pass where it's picked off and taken away by Foster. Loose stick on the ice with Sterling Brant. Where it's pinballed off the glass, taken by Brent from left to right. Crossing the blue line here, trying to find Foster in traffic, but it's poked away by Fasulo and trying to start his own break, but it's two on three as he sends it back to the Sims, uh, Simsbury zone. North Haven will go for a line change. Under 10 to go in the first period, we are still scoreless. Penalty has been killed. The Sconzo hook. On the North Haven net, it gets poked away by Bogart, chased over by Jake Arnold. Bogart off to Kyle Van Bramer. Sends out to the left, no icing. Ben Levin gets a little check there from Cameron Owens. Puck goes right behind the home ice net. 
Galvin at center ice in the left point. Sends it to Tantorski, but it is blocked away and sent by the Syracuse Blue Liners. Back off the North Haven zone, chased by Bogart. Crossing pass a little bit wide and chased over by Jensen. Going from right to left as you'll find Tyler Ludy. Puts up a shot, it's wide of the net. And chased out by Levin. Crossing to Levin. Sends to the North Haven zone. Trojans will go for a line change. And it is their second line. There's a nice hit there from Nolan Thompson. And Tyler Kroll as it chases down the puck. It's poked away. Riley Chapman chases it down, but it's taken away by John Jensen going from right to left. Sends it back to the Simsbury zone. 8.20 to go in the first period. We are still scoreless. Back to center ice. Offside warding, not there. Hunter Chapman crosses it over. Pass to Thompson. Gets it poked away for a moment there, but recovered by Eustace as he sends it back into the North Haven zone. Chased out by Daniel Lyle of the Indians. Sends it off to Josh Back. Poked away, taken, puts up a shot, it's just a bit wide. It's Grant Swenson. Couldn't find the target there. Chase back by Gaffney. The right point to Brendan Law. Puts another shot, kicked away by Graziano. Another shot is blocked away by the North Haven defense. Chased out by Peter Sconzo. Spins, recovers, gets a loose puck away. Connor Quinn knocks it out. Sent back over to Eustace. Center ice, a vicious hit there by Christopher Lyon. No whistle there as Gaffney heads to the bench. Back on the Syracuse zone. Vicious bounce towards Sterling Brandt. Spins, recovers, gets it to DiRiccio. It's a poked away back towards center ice. Chased by Matt Bogart, the senior from North Haven. Back to the Simsbury zone and the center ice. Ichio gets his pocket picked, and it's taken by Matt Bogart. Finds a teammate, tries the crossing pass. Brandt picks it off as Mike Erbko loses his footing. Seems to be trying to start a play there, but Bogart picks away the puck and turns it over at center ice. North Haven trying to start a play. There's a shot, is kicked away by Marquis. Tantorski recovers. Nice to put it back on net where it's poked away by Jack Reese. There's shot there, blocked away by the Simsbury defense. And sent back out towards the North Haven zone. And we will have an icing with 6.04 to go in the first period, still scoreless. Simsbury is a defensive first squad led by Kurt Eustace and Brian Gelman. Their top senior defenseman. And they'll really have to give a boost to the freshman, Mike, uh, Drew Marquis. Just got one career start under his belt. But that one start was a 3-1 win on Wednesday again at South Windsor. Back to center ice, chased by Philip Galvin. Behind his own net, into Tyler Kroll. Arnold recovers it, but it gets back into the neutral zone. It's chased over by Joe D'Amico. And he lays out a vicious hit there to Zach Levin. To the near side. The left point, that shot is blocked away. Tyler Kroll tried to put one in on net there, but challenge accepted and met by the Simsbury blue line. Look it back by the blue line, we have a whistle. The stop and play. So referees sort this out. It'll be two minutes for New Haven. Joe D'Amico getting called for the penalty. It'll be Simsbury will be on the power play with 5.18 to go in the first period. Still scoreless.
Nolan Thompson wins the faceoff for the Trojans. The left point, it goes. And that shot is blocked away. Chased over by Hunter Chapman, gets it back to center ice. And Brian Gelman as the Trojans was set. Law behind his own net. A start of play. Back off to Brian Gelman as he intercepts that clear attempt by the North Haven penalty kill. Sends it back to teammate Brendan Law. Dumps it into the North Haven zone. Chased over by Brian Gelman. Left point to Law. Puts up a shot. Save made by Graziano. That little loose puck poked away, but recovered by Gelman from the left point. Chased over the near side by Brendan Law. Left point, Gelman, shot, blocked away by Christopher Lyon. Scrum on the far side. Puck poked away, we have a whistle. And a trip will be called against the Indians. So the Trojans will go on five on three power play for 55 seconds. As Joe D'Amico finishes out his two minutes. And there'll be five on four for a minute five. Jake Arnold and Cameron Owens will face off. Here, Josh back went to the bench. He didn't realize that he had been called for two minutes. So now they're waiting for him to get back to the sin bin. <laughs> Arnold and Jensen, and in this face-off, loose puck away, chased over by two Trojan skaters. McDowell poked away, going behind the North Haven net, chased over by Cameron Owens. Poked away, shot in front of the net, is poked away, but chased out by McIntyre. Puts up a shot, is kicked away by Graziano. And cleared back off towards the Simsbury zone. 30 seconds remaining of five on three hockey. Aced over by McIntyre. Ross on the blue line there, gets a little poke check from Cameron Owens. He recovers, puts up a shot. A save made by Graziano. Rebound opportunity is kicked away by Graziano. It's Gelman. Off to McIntyre. Puts up a shot. Is kicked off into the mesh. And will a stoppage in play. 325 remaining in the first period. Seven seconds of five on three hockey. And the Joe D'Amico penalty. A minute 13 remaining on the Josh back penalty. So a near side face off for the Trojans. Thompson and Lyon square off at the near hash. One by the Indians, sent back off to the Syracuse zone. Chased out by Brendan Law. Back off, no icing on the play. Then that the first penalty has expired, so 54 seconds remaining of the Syracuse power, excuse me, the Simsbury power play. Have a whistle and a stop and play. Main deadlock at 0 3 0 2 remaining in the opening period. Face off won by the Trojans. Gelman crosses it to Law. Tries to weave his way around the North Haven defense. Stops, crosses it to Thompson, who loses control, taken by Fasulo. As he dumps it off to the uh, Simsbury zone. Law. Off to Levin. Loses it. It's to Chapman. The right side, crossing pass is poked away at the last second. That was Owens. Sends it to the, to the Simsbury zone. Both penalties have expired. Simsbury comes up empty. Gelman from left to right, dumps it back into the North Haven zone. 
Two minutes remaining in the opening period. It's Owens. Dumps it to the Simsbury zone and around. As the Indians get back on sides. McIntyre has poked away by Erbko. But recovers, gets it to Gelman. Back to McIntyre. Center ice. Poked away. And we have a whistle. With a minute 41 to go in the opening period. Look, the puck got lodged into the end of the bench over there. So we'll have a face-off in the neutral zone. A minute 41 to go. Sterling Brandt and Cameron Owens face-off. Little scrum in there in the middle. And draw one by the Trojans. Taken away by Kurt Eustis. The near side. It's poked away by Van Bramer. Oh, a little scrum there. As Tantorski fell down. Riccio knocked him away. Minute 20 to go in the opening period. It's Owens. Loses the puck. Riccio trying to start a little attack there. He's got Brandt on his left. Got a little tangled there. Tries to weave through the North Haven defense. Stops, waits. And cross pass to Brandt, but loses it. And it's Tantorski. He sends it back towards the direction of the neutral zone where it's chased over by Sterling Brandt. But poked away by Vin Fasulo. Tries to do a one on three. Weaves it, puts up a shot, is kicked away by Marquis. 35 seconds to go in the opening period, still scoreless. Fasulo pokes the puck away, gets to the left point, and to Josh Beck. And oh, by Brandt. DiRiccio. To Foster. Sand shot goes wide. 15 seconds remaining in the opening period. Back towards center. I saw a big vicious hit there by Vin Fasulo. As James Foster is a recipient of that hit. Chased over by Pete Sconzo. And that'll do it here in the opening period. Very physical first period, but neither side can find the net. It's the Simsbury Trojans zero and the North Haven Indians zero. We'll be back with the second period right after this. And we are about ready to start the second period of action as the Trojans take back to the ice. We are scoreless here at the ISCC between the Simsbury Trojans and the North Haven Indians. Both teams come in with a 1-0 record. Simsbury defeating South Windsor by a score of 3-1 on the road on Wednesday. Also North Haven beating Amity 7-4 on Wednesday. The Indians had said two players to the penalty box while the Trojans just won. Neither side could take advantage of the power play. Both goalies, Andrew Graziano for North Haven and Drew Marquis for Simsbury up to the challenge by both sides. Offensive attack. Been a very, very sloppy opening uh, period, but this is only game two of the season for both sides. So they look, Simsbury will look to get something going here in the second period as they will be going from right to left. They send out their line of Gelman, Eustace, the Chapman brothers, and Nolan Thompson. Their senior setter and one of the preseason Fab 15 of the Hartford Current. Had six points last season, a goal and five assists. He's joined by the brothers Chapman, Riley Chapman, the freshman, and Hunter, the junior. Two goals and five assists last season, a six plus or minus rating. Thompson will square off at center ice against the North Haven captain, Christopher Lyon. The draw squirts back over to the far side and poked away by Chapman. North Haven zone chased over by Vin Fasulo. Back goes to Lyon. 
Squirts around. It's poked away. Here comes Thompson, and the shot is poked away by Graziano. It's sent back over towards the boards and knocked away by Josh Beck. Taken by Nate McIntyre. Sent out over towards Thompson from the right point to Gelman. A big hit there, and as McIntyre sends it around the boards, chased over by Daniel Lyle. And Gelman whiffed on that pass, where it's taken by the Indians. We'll be going from left to right. Ludi sends a shot that is just, that's wide left of Drew Marquis. Looking by Gelman, behind his own net, off to McIntyre, off to Riley Chapman. Weaves through the North Haven defense and sends it off into the zone. Zach Levin puts a hit on Cameron Owens. Puck take away. Sent over to Eustace. Puts a shot and scores! Kurt Eustace, the senior blue liner, nets his first goal of 2013. And more importantly, puts the Trojans up. 1 0. Just a minute. 20 into the second period. Great pass there. Eustace sends it home strong. 1-0 Simsbury. The draw one off by the Trojans here. Taken by Ben Levin. Off to Zach Levin. One nils Simsbury. Ben Levin gets the turnover, puts him a shot and scores! Off the North Haven turnover, Ben Levin makes the Indians pay with a top shelf one-timer. His second goal of 2013, Simsbury leads it 2-0. What a turn of events here in this second period. Simsbury coming out aggressive here, their defense leading the offense. Kurt Eustis and Ben Levin have scored back-to-back -back goals for the Trojans. 2-0 Simsbury. And we have a timeout called by North Haven head coach Thomas Roche. Kurt Eustis had not scored a goal from last season. But the senior nets his first of 2013 and Ben Levin, the sophomore. First year in vars playing varsity hockey for the Trojans. Nets his second goal in his second game of the season. It's 2 0 Simsbury, 13 17 remaining in the second period. North Haven all out of sorts, trying to regroup after the timeout. Simsbury trying to keep their pedal on the metal here. as Jack Reese squares off against Cameron Owens at center ice. Draw one by the Indians and taken over by Beck. The center ice into his own zone, crosses it out past the reach of Kyle Van Bramer. Chased over by Chet, no, excuse me, by Peter Sconzo. Gets poked away there by Van Bramer and a big vicious hit right there. It's taken over, crossing to Tantorski. Left to right. Simsbury pokes it away though, taken by Gaffney. Off to Swenson, pokes it off the boards. Chased down by Van Bramer. He's taken by Swenson. What's a start there? Sconzo puts up a shot, is high of the net in the reach of Andrew Graziano. A scrum at the far side boards. Two and a half minutes into the second period, it's 2 nothing Trojans. Swenson gets the puck poked away by Josh Beck. Sent back over towards center ice right, and a big hit and a penalty will be on Cameron Owens on that head hunting shot there. And North Haven will once again be a man down. Cameron Owens laid a vicious hit on that Simsbury skater and that will put a give him two minutes in the sin bin. Oh, 12-14 remaining the second period. And Simsbury will be on their third power play. They were 0 for their first two in the first period. Well, now get their offensive draw here. 
Thompson call for the false start. Zach Levin will handle the duty. A circle, he wins the face off and it's taken by McIntyre. Off to Thompson as he waits on the near side to open up a play, weaves, deeks through not only the North Haven skater but the official, Dagobin McIntyre. A slap shot there is pointed and sent away and blocked. Levin try to lay one there on the net there. Gets it back to the right point. Waits, finds a wide open Chapman, but it's wide left of the net. He couldn't convert there. He had an open net for a split second. Left Trojans recover. Levin, cross it to McIntyre. Whiffs on that shot, and it's blocked away by Christopher Lyon. And a nice hit there from Philip Galvin, as Gelman's the recipient of that hit. McIntyre. Weaves away from the defender. Sends it back to the North Haven zone. No offsides. Loose puck in front of the net is stopped by Graziano and held for the faceoff. A minute 10 to go in the Cameron Owens penalty. 11-24 in the second period. It's 2-0 Trojans. And thank you for joining us at the ISCC. Adam Roswodowski bringing you the action here from Simsbury as they attempt to win their second game of the season against the North Haven Indians. His draw sent out towards the direction of Riley Chapman. Gets it to the point in Levine. Shot from McIntyre, poked away, but recovered by Chapman. Off it goes to Sconzo. McIntyre back to Sconzo. Shot poked away by John Jensen. McIntyre. Waving, starting to get to the point into Jake Arnold. Back to McIntyre, to Arnold, to Levin, puts up a shot, blocked away. Loose pocket for the net, held by Graziano, poked away, taken by Bogart. Back to McIntyre from the near side point. Poked away and lost, got a loose puck there, taken by Jensen. Tries to break away, but a vicious hit right there by Ben Levin. Pokes the puck away, recovered by the Trojans. A fierce hit there by Ben Levin, the sophomore forward. Puck sent back off of the boards and cleared over back to the Simsbury zone. Marquis will hit and hand it off towards Brendan Law. Crossing pass to Riccioz, he sends it to the North Haven zone. We're at full strength. 10-10 to go in the second period. It's 2-0 Trojans. Chase staff over by Kyle Van Bramer behind his own net. But Riccio is right on there. A little scrum going on there between the Simsbury and North Haven skaters. And we have a whistle there. The refs call stalemate and we'll have a face off. 9.54 to go in the second period. Simsbury has jumped down to a 2-0 lead on goals by senior Kurt Eustace and sophomore Ben Levin. Thompson will face Owens there on the face off, won by the Trojans. There's a shot right there by Brian Gelman, just a bit wide of the net. Taken back by Thompson. Tries to go deep, puts up a shot and scores! It's Nolan Thompson! The senior nets his first goal of 2013. The third goal of the Trojans this period. They lead North Haven 3-0. What an excellent deke right there from the senior Nolan Thompson. Preseason Fab 15 player from the Hartford Current showing why with his great stick handling ability right there. Netting Simsbury the third goal of this game. This draw won by the Trojans and it gets it off to Rooney. It takes a vicious hit there from Tyler Ludy, but sent back to the North Haven zone. Chased out by Ben Levin. Off to Rooney. Spins away. Puts up a crossing shot. It's just a little bit wide of the Arnold's reach. Head on over towards Levin. Reese tries to send one on net, but it's denied away by Graziano. Set up breakaway opportunity, but Marquis wisely knocks it away and shoots it into North Haven's bench. 9.09 to go the second period. It is 3-0 Trojans. Goals by Eustace, Levin, and Thompson have given the Trojans the lead. Really breaking this game open. They scored three goals in their victory against South Windsor. They have matched that total 
in a period and a half of play. Draw one by the Indians. Taking out the right point. And Josh Beck takes a vicious hit right there from Sean Gaffney. That little crossing shot denied by the Simsbury defense. Gaffney chases down and lays another big hit on Josh Beck. Puck poked away. Gaffney crosses it out towards Sconzo. Puck taken away. A little bit of a scrum there as Grant Swenson pokes it away, gets it to Sconzo's direction. Crossing pass, it goes to Gaffney. Puts up a shot from the left point, and it's kicked away by Graziano. A little puck loose from the net, taken by North Haven. It's Fasulo from left to right as he crosses the blue line, chased over by Brendan Law. Puts up a shot from the net, here's the shot, and it's a score! North Haven has put themselves on the board here. Couldn't get a make out who knocked it in. I believe it was the captain, Vin Fasulo. And if it is, it would be his fourth goal of 2013. He had a hat trick and a season opening victory against Amity. And that goal puts North Haven back in this game. They trail by two. It was a nice counterattack there by the Indians as Simsbury really just laid it. Vin Fasulo does get credit for the goal, his fourth of 2013, leading the Indians. As I mentioned, he scored a hat trick again in their 7 4 victory at Amity on Wednesday. Owens will face Nolan Thompson at center ice. With 8 17 remaining in the second period. The Indians have answered with a goal of their own as they trail Simsbury 3-1. They draw one by the Indians. Tantorski loses control of the puck taken over by Chapman. Ends it back for the North Haven zone as Thompson tries to chase past the North Haven skater. The McIntyre on the left point whips on the pass. Sent back over towards Chapman. It's Foster to McIntyre from the left point. Puts up a shot, is knocked away by the North Haven defense. Sent back to center ice, Gelman knocks it into the North Haven zone and out of play. 7.45 to go in the second period. It's 3-1 Simsbury. Eustace, Levin, and Thompson, the goals for Simsbury. Fasulo, the goal, one goal for North Haven. Draw one by the Trojans. It's Eustace at center ice. Knocks it towards the North Haven zone. Chase out by Daniel Lyle. And take it away by Brendan Law. A little scrum goes on there. Puts a crossing pass just out of the reach of Ben Levin. And poked away by the North Haven skaters. Back on the direction of Marquis as he just knocks it away to the far side. A loose puck there taken by North Haven. Tries to put up a shot. And we've got a whistle and a penalty against the Trojans. Brendan Law getting whistled there. And he will sit for two minutes. So Law is Simsbury's second penalty of the match. And they'll be going on the penalty kill. So hooking call. Draw one by the Indians with that shot knocked away by Marquis. Nice hit there for Grant Swenson. But sent back off to the near side boards, chased over by Josh Back. And we have a whistle here with 6.55 to go in the second period. Lyon and Brandt will face off in the near circle. And a false start will put the captain, Vin Fasulo, in for the Indians. Simsbury will send Grant Swenson, the senior forward. Draw, won by the Indians. Shot is turned away by Marquis. Chased by McIntyre. He tries to clear it. Loose puck will scrum between Tyler Ludia, and North Haven and McIntyre for the Trojans. Off to Fasulo, to the right point, and Beck 
And he loses control of the puck as it goes back in the North Haven zone. A minute 16 remaining in the Simsbury penalty. Back off to center ice, and a big hit there by Hunter Chapman. Josh Beck taking the hit there, we have a whistle. With 6.14 to go in the second period, 101 to go in the Brendan Law penalty. And we'll have a face-off here. As Cameron Owens faces off Hunter Chapman. The draw won by the Trojans. Scrum behind their own net. Chapman chases it, tries to get out of Vesulo's reach. Loses control of it. Tantorski puts up a shot and scores! Mike Tantorski, the senior forward, nets his second goal of 2013. And all of a sudden, North Haven stormed right back as they draw to within one. A power play goal for Mike Tantorski. The senior at three points in a win over Amity on Wednesday nets his second goal of 2013. It is 3-2 Trojans. Tantorski wins the draw, sends it back off to the Syracuse zone. Chase over by Kurt Eustace. Back off towards Brendan Law's direction. But Levin takes control. Sends it back towards teammate Jake Arnold, but pass is picked off by Cameron Owens. Levin pokes it away. Here comes Arnold, but his shot is poked away, and a penalty will be called against North Haven. A delayed call. They'll send out the extra skater. And here we go. We'll have the penalty here. 5.24 to go in the second period. And Let's see who they called it on. I believe it was Kyle Van Bramer, the senior defender. And yes, it is Van Bramer. We'll sit for two minutes. We will play four. So it's 3-2. Five on four hockey for the Trojans. Oh, for their first three in the power play. That's knocked away, taken away by Law. Sends it off towards Gelman. So he going from right to left. Behind the North Haven net, gets it to Thompson. Back to Law, puts up a shot, is deflected by a North Haven skater. Chased out by Galvin. Hunter Chapman trying to knock it away. A little scrum going over with three Simsbury skaters and one North Haven skater. Schroes just coming with the puck. Chapman puts up a crossing pass, just a bit wide, poked away by the North Haven defense and sent back off towards center ice. A minute 10 to go in the Kyle Van Brammer penalty, 4.30 to go in the second period. Chased off by Gelman, crosses it towards Law. Back to Gelman. Pinballs it towards Chapman. Thompson's pass poked away by Vasulo and sent off towards Marquis' direction. He kicks it away. 4-10 to go in the period. 43 seconds to go in the power play. Off to the near side. Thompson tries to poke the puck away. Sconzo sends it off towards Brian Gelman. Gelman off to Sconzo. Into the neutral zone. Sends it off to Riley Chapman, who pinballs it off the North Haven boards. Vasulo knocks it away and clears it back towards the Simsbury zone. Ten seconds remain on the Van Bramer penalty. McIntyre, trying to start some of the five seconds left, takes it towards Arnold. And the penalty has expired with 3.20 to go in the second period. It's 3-2 Simsbury. They're 0 for 4 in the power play. On the left point, it's Eustace. Puts up a shot. Blocked away and intercepted. Loose puck. Taken by the Indians. Back to center ice. And Chapman, excuse me, McIntyre, takes controls off to Eustace. Sends it off the boards. Towards the direction of Peter Sconzo, but loses it. And back to center ice. 
McIntyre to Eustace. Taken away by D'Amico. Back to Riley Chapman as he takes a two-on-one sandwich from the North Haven defense. 2.40 remaining in the second period. It's 3-2 Trojans. Loose puck taken away by Sterling Brandt. Get to the left point. And the Trojans will have to get back on side. They dump it back into the North Haven zone. Chased over by Sterling Brandt. Taken by Riccio. And that pass a bit wide for James Foster. As they hustle back, North Haven will go for a line change. Riccio loses control of the puck. That was just a bit wide of his reach. Daniel Lyle takes it behind his own net. Scrum between he and Aaron Riccio. D'Amico and Tantorski. And control the puck, but taken away by Brant. Pokes it away. Back towards the Simsbury zone. Chased over by Kurt Eustace. Back, and as Puck hit the official there as McIntyre chased it. But taken away by Mike Erbko. That shot is poked away by Marquis. This very backs it back to center ice. Sterling Brandt, Brandt clears it. 90 seconds remain in the second period. It is 3-2 Trojans. A chase out over by Erbko who takes the hit for from McIntyre. We have a whistle. I believe this will be a penalty against the Trojans. It is McIntyre who will sit with a minute 20 to go in the second period. So the power play will take us through the intermission. And 40 seconds to open the third period. Indians win the end of the draw. But the pass is poked away by Sconzo. Taken by Owens on the far side. Crosses it out towards Bogart. Back to Ludi. As he loses his footing, chased out over, it's Thompson. Can't get it poked away, Law. Tries to knock it away, that shot from the left point is kicked away by Marquis, and that puck is sent way up into the bench, and we'll have a face-off with 49 seconds remaining in the second period. Still 3-2 Trojans. <laughs> North Haven one for three on the power play this afternoon. Their one goal by Mike Tantorski earlier this period. It's Bogart who sends it off. Offsides will be called against the Indians here. So 39.1 seconds to go in the second period. The big break for the Trojans. They'll face off in the neutral zone. Lion. And Chapman Strom is that puck just in front of the net there. That was a close call. Rebound opportunity is sent away by Marquis. 27 seconds to go. Back out toward the North Haven ice. That was a close call for the Trojans as that trickled off the top of the net and sent away by Marquis. 15 seconds to go. Lyon chasing it on the far side. It's, it's a three on two if they hurry. But that is sent away. And we have a whistle with 6.2 seconds to go. Hunter Chapman knocked that puck away at the last second. Away, out of harm's way. 6.2 to go. We had a scoreless first period. Five goals combined here in the second. It's 3-2 Simsbury. Will be a defensive zone face off for the Trojans as Chapman faces off against Tantorski. Face off won by the Trojans and covered up by Marquis and we'll have another face off with 3.8 seconds to go. Branton, oh, got a, got a last minute sub there is Nolan Thompson checks in. Chapman loses the draw, got a scrum there at the ice and the buzzer sounds. 
A little bit of extracurriculars going off between Kurt Eustis and a couple of North Haven skaters, but nonetheless, an exciting second period of action. Both teams were scoreless after one, but have combined for five goals. Simsbury jumped out to a 3-0 lead, courtesy of Kurt Eustis' first goal of the year, Ben Levin's second goal, and Nolan Thompson's first goal of the year. But of course, North Haven jumps right back. A power play goal by senior Mike Tantorski put the Indians on the board. And Vin Fasulo, the captain, nets North Haven's second goal, his fourth the season. It is 3-2 Simsbury. As we head into the second intermission, we'll be back with the third period right after this. Welcome back to the ISCC as we get ready to start period number three between the Simsbury Trojans and the North Haven Indians. Trojans lead this one 3-2 thanks to goals from senior Kurt Eustis, sophomore Ben Levin, and senior Nolan Thompson. North Haven answered though with a power play goal by Mike Tantorski and a goal by their captain Vin Fasulo. Nate McIntyre will sit in the sin bin for 40 seconds to finish out his penalty from period number two. As the Trojans look to net their second win of the 2013-2014 season. Nolan Thompson and Christopher Lyons square off at center ice. Puck taken by the Indians, going from right to left. Puck is just a bit wide on that shot, chased out by Vin Fasulo. Took a big hit there and lost his footing as Sconzo laid a hit on him. Puck chased over by Law, and that puck sent off by Thompson back towards the North Haven zone. 19 seconds to go in the, in the penalty. So North Haven starts their play, 30 seconds into the pier. It's crossing pass, it goes off the skate of Ludi. Chased over by Galvin. Into the zone. That's a shot, it's saved away by Marquis and holds for a faceoff. One second to go in the Nate McIntyre penalty. 3-2 Trojans, 14-21 remaining in period number three. A little confusion going on here. Looks like we've got a timeout call. Or perhaps not. They're just trying to sort out the action here. I apologize. It's a penalty on North Haven. So it'll be four on four hockey for one second, and that penalty has expired. Simsbury goes on the power play. Matt Bogart in the sin bin for North Haven. Simsbury 0 for their first four on the power play tonight as they try to net their fourth goal tonight. Thompson from left to right on the near side. Stops, waste, gets to the point. Man and Brendan Law. Back to Thompson. Buck right and loose in front of the North Haven zone where it's cleared back off towards the Simsbury zone. A minute 21 to go in the power play. Behind his zone net, it's Law. Sends it bit wide for Brian Gelman. Chased over and taken away by Lyon. Sends it back towards the Simsbury zone as Marquis stops, holds it, and waits for his teammate to catch on. It is Law. We'll start the offense again for the Trojans. Oh, from left to right, 55 seconds remaining in the penalty. 3-2, they lead. Gelman in the neutral zone. Holds. Waits, pass is poked away. Ludi tries to hold off. Arnold puts up a shot. Glove save made by Marquis and taken by Gelman. Z gets the Trojans on side from the left point. Puts up a shot, is glove saved by Graziano and holds for a faceoff with 12.48 to go in period number three. 27 seconds remain in the Matt Bogart penalty. Faceoff will be between Jake Arnold of Simsbury and Cameron Owens of North Haven. 
Draw one by the Trojans. It's Levin to the left point. McIntyre back to Levin, puts up a shot. It's just wide of the net, taken by Chapman. Off to Levin. From the slot, puts up a shot, is knocked away by Graziano and taken by Sconzo. Left point, McIntyre to Sconzo. Left circle, puts up a shot, saved away, rebound, scores! Riley Chapman off the rebound. His first goal of 2013. A power play goal for the Trojans. They leave this one 4-2. Riley Chapman off Sconzo's rebound. Gets a power play goal. The first for the freshman. Sconzo will be credited with the assist. So Simsbury gets a 4-2 lead off the power play goal. They are one for five tonight. So Simsbury now got a two goal lead. Says Brandt losing it back to the Simsbury zones. Chased over by Brendan Law. Poked away by North Haven skater, but Simsbury back on it. It's Brandt. To Foster as he sends it back to the North Haven zone. It's poked away, taken by Law. From left to right, into the zone. Chased over by Brandt. Back to Law. It's Foster, puts up a shot, blocked away by the North Haven defense. Chased over by center ice. Two on one if uh, the Indians hurry. Crossing pass, shot and a save made by Drew Markey. That was a two on one denied by the freshman goaltender as he preserves Simsbury's 4-2 lead. 11.33 to go in period number three. Owens and Swenson draw and it's won over by the Indians. Looney loses control of the puck back to center ice as the Indians have to get back on sides. Taken by Gaffney. Flicks it into the North Haven zone. Chased over by Swenson. It's Sconzo who sends it back towards the direction of the North Haven net. Chased away by Swenson. Puck back off to a center ice. Gelman resets. Off to Sconzo, to Swenson. Puts up a shot, glove save made by Graziano. Loose puck taken away by the North Haven defense. Loose back at center ice. Owens gets it, loses control there. Taken away. Loose in front of the zone. Poked away by Swenson. We got a delay penalty here against the Trojans. And it looks like it's against Brian Gelman. 10.34 to go in period number three. North Haven will be on another power play. They are one for four tonight. And it is Grant Swenson into the sin bin. The tripping call against Swenson. The senior forward. We'll have 10 seniors for Simsbury. Draw one by the Indians. It's Galvin back off of the neutral zone. It's poked back into the Simsbury zone, but chased away and taken by Law. To center ice. Fasula trying to orchestrate the offense here, but looks very scrambled for North Haven. Chase uh, Hunter Chapman. As it loses it, Lyon recovers. Off to Beck. To Galvin. Sends it airborne towards Ludi's direction. And taken by Beck. The Simsbury zone under 10 to go in period number three. A minute 18 to go in the Swenson penalty as Simsbury clears it back off to center ice. 9.45 to go in period number three. It's Owens, the junior, knocks it back to center ice. Magellan sends it right back to center. McIntyre. From his own zone, behind his own net. Bounces it towards Levin's direction. 
and cleared off. 45 seconds remaining in the, in the uh, penalty. Loose puck in front of the net momentarily. Knocked away by the Indians. Gelman sends it back to the New Haven zone where it's chased off by Beck. Hesitates. Looks like he got tripped there from Ben Levin. No call. As it's sent back to the Simsbury zone. 23 seconds to go and we have a whistle. And looks like that'll be an icing. 8.55 to go in period number three. Simsbury leads this one 4-2. Riley Chapman getting the lone goal in this period on the power play. Face off won by the Trojans. Sent off to Eustace. Chased over by Ludi. Back taken, recovered by Luizzi. Shot put up there by Van Bramer, but it is wide left of the net. Take back to the neutral zone, and this will expire the Grant Swenson penalty. We're back at full strength. 8.30 to go. Puck poked away by Jensen. And taken by Luizzi. Puck almost clipped John Jensen in the head, where it's taken a big vicious hit by Eustace as he laid it on Luizzi. Taken back by Beck. As he sends this off the boards, chased over by Brendan Law. Taken recovered by Joe D'Amico. And takes a big hit from Brendan Law, the junior defenseman. And another vicious hit right there by Sean Gaffney as he laid Tyler, the lumber to Tyler Kroll. Loose puck taken by Thompson as Simsbury goes for a line change. A vicious series of hits from the Simsbury defense. Puck sent airborne off towards center ice. Gelman sends it towards the North Haven zone. Simsbury avoids the off, gets back on sides. McIntyre from the left point towards the slot and it's just wide for Jake Arnold. Back to center ice. Still a loose stick out there. As, taken, as North Haven sends it on net but it's knocked away by Marquis. Off to McIntyre to Levin. Tries to cross ice pass. He's got his brother Zach. Break for opportunity. And it is denied. But, and we have some extracurriculars here. As Levin was denied by Graziano on the breakaway opportunity, but then a North Haven skater decides to put a little exclamation point on that play. Raph still trying to sort this one out. And that. Philip Galvin will be the one sent to the penalty box after that vicious hit. Simsbury will be on another power play. Philip Galvin, the senior defenseman, had two assists in their victory against Amity, but called for roughing there. McIntyre wins the draw for the Trojans. From the left point, sends it back towards the slot, but it's just a bit wide for Chapman. Chased back by Ludi. Chapman sends it to Levin. Like the Chapman towards the slot, puts up a shot. It's poked away by North Haven and taken by Tyler Ludi. That puck poked away by Nate McIntyre as he goes behind his own net. 90 seconds remaining in the Simsbury power play. McIntyre weaving through the North Haven zone. Trying to put up a shot behind his own net. Loose puck chased by McIntyre. Off to Levin from the right point. Sends it left towards Sconzo's direction. Chased back by Ludis. He sends it airborne to center ice. Stopped by McIntyre. 65 seconds to go in the penalty. McIntyre, weaving through the defense, puts up a shot and poked away and stopped by Graziano. 59 seconds remain in the uh, Simsbury power play. It's 4-2 Trojans. 5.55 to go in period number three.
Simsbury will send out the line of Thompson. And Jensen will lose the draw to the Trojans. Law sends it towards the North Haven zone. 45 seconds to go in the Galvin penalty. This is sent over the puck in Marquis' direction, taken away by Law. Going to start the offense here. 35 seconds to go in the penalty. Puck poked away in the scrum there by Levin. So he loses his footing. Chased out over by Krull. Back to center ice. Brennan Law chases it down. Fourteen seconds to go in the power play. It's Law. To Gelman. On a seven play. Thompson and the crossing shot is wide. And that'll do it. We are at full strength. Loose puck there at center ice. Chased over by Law, pokes it away from Tantorski's direction. Chased that over, stopped there by Gelman. Loose puck taken by Simsbury. We have a whistle. And a stop and play right there. It's like a hand pass by the Trojans. Four thirty-nine to go in period number three. Trojans lead this one four-two. It's going to be a defensive zone face-off for the Trojans. Owens and Swenson. North Haven wins the penalty. Puts up a shot. Save made by Marquis. Poked around to the left point. It's Beck. Sends it back out towards Owens. Poked away by McIntyre. Chased out by Tantorski. Tries to get it towards Owens, loses it. Bogart, weaving through the Simsbury defense. Shot in front of the net there, poked away by North Haven. A nice poke check away by Gaffney as he sends it toward the North Haven defense. Four minutes remaining in period number three, it's 4-2 Simsbury. Got a whistle here. And a penalty against the Trojans with 3.54 to go. This penalty goes against the senior defenseman, Kurt Eustace. It's a cross check on Eustace. 3.54 remaining in period number three. 4-2 Simsbury, they have the lone goal in this third period. A power play goal from freshman Riley Chapman. Face off one by the Trojans as Gaffney sends it back off towards the North Haven zone. 3.45 to go in period number three. Van Bramer chases it down for the Indians. Sent off towards Van Bramer from right to left to Ludi. Weaving through the Simsbury defense. Lyon gets it poked away by Sconzo and sent off towards North Haven zone. Bogart from right to left puts up a shot, blocked away, taken by Thompson. And that's cleared off towards the North Haven zone. A minute 10 to go in the penalty kill for the Trojans. Three minutes to go in period number three. They lead this one 4-2. Van Bramer. Long pass out wide for John Jensen. And sent back towards North Haven zone. It's Van Bramer, the senior. Sends it out towards... Jensen's direction, but wide. Recovered by Beck. 40 seconds remaining in the penalty. That shot is high and wide right of the net. Chase over by Gelman as he pinballs this around the boards and into the North Haven zone. 30 seconds remain in the Simsbury penalty. Taken out by Jensen. Takes a hit there from Grant Swenson. 20 seconds remaining in the penalty. 2.11 to go in period number three. From the left point, it's Galvin. 
Puts up a hit there on Sterling Brand. Good by Owens. Back to Galvin. Throws down Brands. Puts up a shot and scores. A power play goal for the North Haven Indians. They have cut the deficit down to one. Believe that goal was by Tantorski. And if it is, that's his second power play goal of the day. It's the second power play goal the Trojans have let up. It is Mike Tantorski, his second power play goal of the day, his third goal of the 2013 season. And we have a timeout by Simsbury. Coach Tom Cross wants to sort this out. Simsbury once had a 3-0 lead in the second period, but surrendered two straight goals to close out the second. Each team has traded a power play goal in this third period. Tantorski had three points in a win against Amity. Nets two power play goals for the Indians. As they trail this four to three. Just a back-breaking power play goal by the Trojans. Their lead is down to one. It's incredible how a scoreless first period and you think it'd be just a defensive struggle and turns into this wide open 4-3 game. Three power plays goals have been scored. Seven goals in total between these two squads. One fifty-four remaining in the third period. Nolan Thompson and Christopher Lyon square off at center ice. Draw won by the Indians. It's taken by Galvin as he wards off Hunter Chapman. Sent back to the Simsbury zone. Chased over by Gelman. Loose puck Thompson. And Gelman chased after it. Then by North Haven. Gelman. Thompson pokes it away. Sent off towards Chapman. To the near side. Poked away. Thompson sends it back to the North Haven zone. Wide open net. And that shot is just a bit wide. As North Haven had pulled its goalie, Simsbury came inches short of netting their fifth goal tonight. Back to the Simsbury zone. A minute 10 to go in period number three. And it's McIntyre. That's the puck. Puts up a shot towards the North Haven. That is wide left. And a whistle. And it will be icing. So the Indians will have a face-off in their offensive zone with 59.8 to go in the third period, trailing four goals to three. It's been an incredible close contest between these two schools. Owens and Arnold will face off. Draw, one over by the Trojans. Get away there, but on the net to the far side. Arnold pokes it away into the North Haven zone. 45 seconds remaining in the third period. A whistle and another icing against the Trojans. So that takes 45, that takes 15 seconds, excuse me, 10 seconds off the clock. 45 remain in the period. Owens and Arnold square off on the far circle. And that is kicked away by a Simsbury skater towards the North Haven zone. And that's going to be wide of the net. Taken by North Haven. 33 seconds to go. Center ice. It's Lyon from right to left. Drives the lead through the, the Simsbury defense. That shot is wide right of the net. Recovered by the Indians. It's Owens. To Galvin, from the left point, shot is blocked away by Levin. To the right point, Looney puts up a shot, blocked away by Ben Levin. Thank you, Norris. Scrum for the puck, back to center ice. It's Galvin, Indians puts up a shot, wide left. 
And we have a whistle with one second to go in the third period. Simsbury leads this 4-3. An excellent defensive sequence by the Simsbury Blue Liners. Owens and Arnold square off. They saw one by the Indians, but to no avail. The Simsbury Trojans hang on by the skin of their teeth to defeat the North Haven Indians by a score of four to three. Simsbury improves their record to two and zero, oh, while North Haven falls to one and one. Goals by Kurt Eustace, Ben Levine, Nolan Thompson, and Riley Chapman for Simsbury. Goals by Mike Tantorski, Fasulo, and Tantorski for a second time. Recap the scoring for today. Simsbury's next match will be Monday here against North, excuse me, against Notre Dame West Haven. We'll have the coverage here at 5.30 here on SCTV. For all of us here at SCTV, I'm Adam Roswodowski signing off. Good night from the ISCC.